Minsan kagaya tayo ni Micah, nababahala tayo, natatakot tayo sa mga pangyayari sa paligid para bagang uh, pasama ng pasama ang mundong ating ginagalawan. At yan po ay hindi naman nakapagtataka dahil yan po ay nasa hula ng banal na kasulatan. Ano? Yan po ay nasa prophecy. So dapat hindi tayo nagugulat sa ganyan eh, sa ganyang pangyayari. Pero uh, alam natin mga kapatid na kapag kasama natin ang Panginoon, kaya nga sabi ni Micah, but as for me, no? Para sa akin, eto ang aking sinasandigan. Ano 'yan? Na ang Panginoon ang aking tulong sa panahon ng pangangailangan. Ayan, sa verse 7, mapak- makikita nyo dyan, no? Ayan, as for me, I look to the Lord for help. I wait confidently for God to save me. And my God will certainly hear me. Do not gloat over me, my enemies. For though I fall, I will rise again. Madapa man ako, ako'y muling babangon. So, ating pong... Uh, Lalapit tayo sa Diyos sa magitan ng panalangin ngayong gabi at pasalamatan na natin ang Diyos sa kanyang kabutihan sa bawat isa sa atin. Nakilang naman nagpapasalamat kami. What a privilege to be together again, to dwell on your word, Panginoon. Ang aming uh, bungkalin na muli, baguhay na muli, Panginoon, to establish our lives on the words of God, especially in these times of trouble. In these times of um, uh, pandemic and fear, Lord, we can rely on you. We can put our trust on you. And like Micah, we have made a choice. As for me, my trust is in the Lord. The Lord is my salvation. Lord, all of this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. At uh, we're just going to go back a little bit on what we studied in the previous nights. Uh, I mean, last night from the word of the Lord. So we have seen how that uh, Micah was miserable because of what is happening around him. So sometimes we are, uh, we get discouraged, we get carried away with all the troubles that are in this life. And like Micah, we feel like uh, somebody, like a, a harvester, uh, a person who picks fruit and finds nothing. So sometimes all the troubles that we have, we get nothing for it. And Micah went on to say in verse 2, the godly people have all disappeared. Now, what a uh, sad state. That is, in the time of Micah, that all the godly people have disappeared. But we thank God that uh, apostolic believers around the world are still serving the Lord, are still worshiping the Lord, are still on fire for God. Amen. What a beautiful uh, picture that we see today, that the people of God, in spite of the pandemic, they're still revival. Souls are being baptized. Amen. Souls are receiving the Holy Ghost. Praise God. But if we are, are like Micah, we can see all of these things happening around us. Amen. Families cannot be trusted. Families, are uh, they are fighting with one another. Of course, this is also prophesied by the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said that uh, families will betray one another. And it happened during the time of Micah the prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. But all of this, we see that they have become murderers in verse 2. So this is a review. That's why I'm going through it a little bit past. So their hands are skilled, both their hands. It speaks that they're giving focus on this. They're giving their everything to do evil. Uh, it's like the book of Judges that every imagination of man are evil and the officials and the judges and we, we we hear about this we see this time and time again we see and hear from the news how officials in the government are 
uh, taking bribes. They are doing things that are not good, that are not right. So there was a people are twisting justice. So this is very rampant in our times right now. And in verse 9, this is something to think about. Because here during uh, Micah's time, he said, do not trust anyone. Wow, that is a very uh, a tragic uh, time to be in when you cannot trust even your own family. So right here, we see uh, Micah looking at his society, looking at families, the state of the nation of Israel. They were really at a time of uh, sin, a time of a backsliding. So in verse 7, Nehemiah, uh, so I'm sorry, the prophet Micah confessed, As for me, I look to the Lord for help. Amen. Before tragedy strikes, before problems come into your life, you should make a commitment to trust God, to give God your life, to uh, surrender, to make a commitment. As for me, even though society is going down the drain, even though families are falling apart, as for me, I have made a choice. I will serve the Lord. I will follow Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. What an awesome message. What an awesome promise from the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Picture of a person who has completely surrendered his life to the Lord. Amen. Right now, tonight, make a commitment and say, as for me, my help comes from the Lord. My trust is not on circumstances. My trust is not on the things that are happening around the world. But my trust and my eyes are focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a message of hope. What a message from misery to hope. From uh, discouragement to who is on fire for God. Who relies on God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> 